Owl, Timothy Frog here, and I've got a really great story to tell you today. It's called The Muppet Musicians of Bremen. And in case you were wondering, Bremen is a little town in Louisiana, about four miles north of Gogolala. Now, the story is all about a donkey named Leroy, T.R. the Rooster, and Rover Joe and Cat Gut. Matter of fact, they're the ones playing that music. There they are, a really happy bunch of folks. Of course, they haven't always been happy. They used to be sad. And you know why these animals used to be sad? Because they used to work for these guys here. You may have noticed that the heroes in our story are all animals and the villains are all people. I hope none of you take that personally. Anyway, here's our story. So here we are at the beginning of the story. Mordecai Sledge and his donkey Leroy are about to come home. Yeah! Burn it and flunge it, I say! Get your crumbling bone heap! Now the fact is, Mordecai is the leader of a band of robbers, and he's just getting back from the railroad yard where he and his friends have been stealing stuff out of boxcars. That was a giddy-up, not a whoa, you scrawny devil! I want to get home! Uh, hold on! We is home! Whoa! You gullet freep snort lunger! It's hard to understand what Mordecai is saying sometimes, and I think that's a good thing. Anyway, now that the story has started, I'll just be on my way. Have fun. I'm surprised the crub shuckle donkey got home tout falling down. <laughs> <laughs> that was your fault! What was my fault? I was asleep. Uh, now, let's see. This looks like a fine mess of stealing we did. <laughs> sure was fun whipping this stuff out of that box car when the guard wasn't looking. The guard wasn't looking because they stuffed him into a drain pipe. Didn't have time to see what we were stealing, though. Hope it's jewels and stuff. What the clunge is this? A drum? Or what you calling banjo? This junk is no good. I don't believe it. We just stole a whole shim shaman garsnarkered orchestra. This junk ain't worth nothing. It's all your fault, Leroy. My fault. Get this Jim Junkle Devil horn out of here! <laughs> Who put that crawl snarkle tree there? Leroy, if you could pull a wagon faster than a hog can waller in slops, we could have found some good stuff to steal before the guard got unstuffed from the drain pipe. Actually, I was on the guard side. You were about as much good to me as a pot with no bottom. It's time for you to retire. Retire? <laughs> I'd love to retire. I'm going to get me my gun and retire you proper. But not that way. Now, oh, where the snow glutzen is that tall crimping gun? Oh, there it is. Before he gets a chance to retire me, I just think maybe I'll quit. OK, Leroy. This is it! Ah! Put down that devil horn! Blush it anyway, you jickle French way back! What the swag? God!
Well, this rips her. Here I am on the road to nowhere. No roof to sleep under. No oats to eat. I'd give old Mordecai 18 years of hard work. And what have I got to show for it? I ain't got that wagon. Who said that? I did. Hey, I didn't tell you I was in the story, too, did I? Well, I am, but just for a little bit. Hey there, Mr. Frog. Hey yourself, Mr. Donkey. I said at least you got that there wagon there. Oh, yeah. I got the wagon, and it's mighty hard pulling, I can tell you. I suppose. But you got that there, uh, what you call, uh, tuba, too. You mean this big kind of twisty funnel thing? I don't even know what it's for. Oh, it's for music. Music? How do you play it? I just uh, blow good and hard into the small end there. You're kidding. No, go ahead and give her a toot. OK, but I feel like a jackass. Well, that kind of figures. Very good. What do you mean, good? That weren't music. That were honking. Well, yeah, that's true enough, but you got to do a little melody like, you know, like, uh, a uh, boop boop ba da bum 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 you know kind of a doo 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 I think I got ya. Let me try. Hey, now you're getting it. That was great. Quit your kidding now. You're really a traveling musician, aren't you? Who, me? Nah. Well, you should be. Everybody would like to hear you play that horn. They would? Why, sure. There must be a million donkeys in the world, and I bet you're the only one who can play the tuba. Yeah. Why not? I could be a traveling musician. Why, why I might even go to some of the big cities, like Bremen or or Gogolala, and, and wherever I go, I can, I can play for folks. I'll, I'll play for the farmers and, and villagers and the townsfolk, and, and they'll give me things to eat and places to sleep at night, and they'll just love me all to crazy. Hee-haw! I'm a traveling musician! <laughs> with the hee-haw-hee. 